In the world of viral stardom, Connor Blake was a king. His YouTube channel, Challenge Ace, wasn't just a source of entertainment for millions of subscribers, it was an empire built on adrenaline, creativity, and a fearless pursuit of the extraordinary. For years, Connor had been creating and taking on wild dares, pushing himself to his physical and mental limits in a way that few would dare to emulate. Whether it was spending 24 hours in an abandoned zoo, attempting to swim in freezing waters, or eating bizarre foods in strange locations, Connor did it all for the clicks, the thrill, and most importantly, the fame that had come to define his life. Each challenge had its own unique flavor, some were hilarious, others were downright terrifying, but all were carefully crafted to engage his audience and boost his ever-growing subscriber count. Connor thrived on the energy of his followers, the constant feedback of likes and comments fueling his insatiable drive for more. He loved the feeling of being a trendsetter, of knowing that his every stunt could potentially spark a new craze across social media. But none of those stunts would prepare him for the challenge that was about to change everything. It all started with a simple comment, one that appeared among the thousands of messages flooding his channel. At first glance, it seemed like just another harmless dare, but it bore the weight of a darker history, an invitation into a world filled with shadows. I dare you to spend the night in Blackridge Manor. The words lingered in his mind, a tantalizing challenge that beckoned him closer. While they seemed harmless enough at first, Connor quickly recalled the chilling reputation that surrounded Blackridge Manor. Built in the late 1800s, the mansion had been abandoned for decades, its walls steeped in an unsettling history filled with stories of tragedy and horror. The very mention of Blackridge sent shivers down the spines of locals, unsolved disappearances, strange occurrences, and accounts of people driven mad after spending time within its crumbling walls were woven into the fabric of the town's folklore. For years, Blackridge had been off-limits, a place no one dared to approach after dark, and certainly not somewhere anyone would spend the night. But to Connor, it was the perfect setting for his next viral video, an opportunity to dive headfirst into the unknown and emerge with a compelling story that would captivate his audience. A Haunted Mansion? Connor scoffed, lounging in his apartment, his phone in hand as he scrolled through the comments section. This'll be a piece of cake. People love this stuff. He could already envision the dramatic footage, the jump scares, the chilling atmosphere. It was everything his fans craved, a heart-pounding adventure that would keep them on the edge of their seats. His best friend and cameraman, Derek, wasn't as enthused. He leaned against the wall, arms crossed, a skeptical look etched on his face. Dude, that place gives me the creeps. You sure about this one? Connor shrugged, brushing off the concern with a wave of his hand. It's just a house. People love the ghost stories because they freak them out, but it's all fake. And besides, think of the views. If we pull this off, this video's gonna blow up. He could already hear the clicks of the views climbing higher, the sound of notification pings lighting up his phone as people shared and commented on the video. Connor felt a surge of excitement at the thought of breaking the internet with a single upload, the thrill of anticipation coursing through him. We'll set up cameras all around, capture the whole experience, and I'll do my usual commentary. We can even throw in some spooky sound effects in post-production. Derek remained silent for a moment, his brow furrowing as he considered the implications. It's not just a regular abandoned house, man. People have gone missing there. It's not a joke. Connor waved a dismissive hand. You're overreacting. It's just an old building. We've tackled crazier stuff than this. Remember that time we tried to eat that ridiculously spicy chili and ended up drinking gallons of milk? Derek chuckled reluctantly, but the worry still lingered in his eyes. Yeah, but that was just food. This is different. We're talking about a place that's got an actual reputation. What if something happens? Connor flashed his friend a confident grin, his excitement radiating as he leaned closer, urging Derek to see his vision. That's exactly why we have to do it. This could be our big break, the video that puts Challenge Ace on the map. Imagine the headlines, YouTube star faces fears in Haunted Mansion. It's perfect. Derek sighed, 
torn between concern for his friend and the undeniable lure of fame that surrounded Connor. Fine, but if something goes wrong, I'm not going to let you forget it. As Connor began mapping out their plan, he felt an electric thrill in the air, a potent mix of excitement and danger that had fueled his every adventure. But lurking beneath his bravado was a flicker of doubt, a nagging voice that whispered warnings he chose to ignore. Later that night, as Connor prepared for the challenge, he found himself immersed in a flurry of activity. He gathered supplies, flashlights, extra batteries, snacks, and a variety of cameras, each carefully selected to capture every moment of their impending adventure. As he loaded up the gear into the car, he felt a sense of exhilaration wash over him. This was going to be epic. As they drove towards Blackridge Manor, Connor's heart raced at the thought of what lay ahead. He couldn't help but imagine the countless views they would garner, the new subscribers they would attract. He glanced at Derek, who stared out the window, his unease palpable. Connor knew his friend was concerned, but he pushed the thought aside, focusing on the excitement bubbling inside him. Just wait until we get the footage, Connor said, trying to lighten the mood. You'll see. It'll be like nothing we've ever done before. Derek nodded, though his expression remained serious. I hope you're right. As they approached the manor, the grand structure came into view, towering against the night sky. Its silhouette was haunting, an ancient relic that seemed to breathe with a life of its own. The massive gates creaked open, and Connor felt a chill run down his spine, though he quickly brushed it off. This was it, the moment he had been waiting for. With a deep breath, he stepped out of the car, adrenaline coursing through him as he stared up at the looming edifice. This was more than just a challenge, it was a chance to etch his name into the annals of viral history. Little did he know, however, that this challenge would push him beyond anything he had ever faced, testing not only his courage but the very limits of his sanity. As the shadows danced around him, Connor took his first step toward Blackridge Manor, a mixture of excitement and trepidation filling the air. The thrill of the unknown awaited him, and he was determined to uncover whatever secrets lay hidden within those walls. Derek sighed, feeling a familiar knot of anxiety tighten in his stomach. He knew there was no talking Connor out of it, once his best friend had an idea in his head, he was determined to see it through, no matter the cost. But something about Blackridge Manor felt, wrong. It was as if an unseen weight pressed against his chest, whispering that they were about to step into something they couldn't handle. He had experienced enough wild stunts with Connor to know when to be cautious, yet this felt different, deeper, more menacing. Still, he agreed to go, and so did Lisa, the third member of their team. Together, they had built Challenge Ace into the massive channel it was, drawing in millions of subscribers who eagerly awaited their next crazy adventure. Derek handled most of the filming and editing, his eye for detail bringing Connor's wild ideas to life on screen. Lisa, with her technical expertise, managed the logistics, setting up equipment and occasionally appearing on camera with her quick wit and charm. The three of them had been through a lot together, late nights, tight deadlines, and close calls, but this challenge would be unlike anything they had ever faced. As the date of the challenge approached, tension mounted among them. Derek found himself unable to shake off the feeling of dread that clung to him like a shadow. He tried to convince himself it was just nerves, but the more he read about Blackridge Manor's grim history, the more his apprehension grew. Every article seemed to echo the same cautionary tales, the strange disappearances, the unexplained occurrences, and the townspeople who whispered about the cursed estate. The night of the challenge arrived quickly, almost too quickly for Derek's liking. Connor stood in front of Blackridge Manor, the massive structure looming ominously behind him in the dim light of dusk. The mansion was in even worse condition than he had imagined. Its once grand windows were shattered, letting out a mournful sigh as the wind whistled through the broken panes. Vines had crept up the sides of the building like fingers trying to reclaim the forgotten glory of the past, and the roof sagged under the weight of years of neglect, a warning of the decay that lurked within. The air around the property felt heavy, almost sentient, as if the house itself was holding its breath, waiting for them to cross the threshold. Derek felt a chill race down his spine, and he shot a glance at Lisa, who stood nearby, her expression mirroring his unease. Okay, guys, Connor said, holding his camera up to capture his own face, 
a signature grin plastered across his features, though his eyes betrayed a hint of the unease creeping in. Here we are, Blackridge Manor. This place has been abandoned for over fifty years, and it's rumored to be one of the most haunted places in the country. Tonight, we're going to see if those rumors are true. Are ghosts real? Let's find out. Derek and Lisa exchanged a glance behind him, the growing sense of dread in both of their chests unspoken but palpable. They had faced countless challenges together, but the atmosphere surrounding Blackridge felt charged, as if the very walls were whispering warnings. After all, it was just a house. What could really happen? Taking a deep breath, Connor pushed open the front door, which creaked loudly in protest, sounding almost like a warning bell tolling in the night. Inside, the house was dark and damp, the air thick with the smell of mold and decay that clung to their clothes and skin. The floorboards groaned under their feet as they stepped into the grand entry hall, where the faded remnants of what had once been an opulent home whispered tales of elegance long lost to time. Okay, let's get some good shots of the inside, Connor said, slipping into his professional mode, his excitement momentarily eclipsing his earlier unease. Derek, take the upstairs. Lisa, stay with me and film the ground floor. Derek nodded, gripping his handheld camera tightly as he made his way up the creaky staircase, each step echoing ominously through the empty halls. It felt wrong being in this house, but he pushed the feeling aside. It was just another shoot. Another job. They'd be out of here by morning, and Connor's video would be a hit. As Connor and Lisa filmed downstairs, they explored room after room, documenting every eerie detail they encountered. Dust-covered furniture lay forgotten, draped in a shroud of neglect, while broken chandeliers dangled precariously from the ceilings. Faded portraits of the long-dead residents stared down at them from the walls, their eyes seemingly following the intruders, reminding Derek of the weight of history that surrounded them. He could almost feel their silent judgment. After about an hour, everything was going smoothly, until the noises started. At first, it was subtle. A faint scratching sound, like nails on wood, coming from the walls. Connor heard it first but didn't mention it to Lisa, thinking it might have been rats or the house settling. But then it grew louder, more insistent. Scrape. Scrape. Do you hear that? Lisa whispered, her voice trembling slightly, her earlier bravado fading into uncertainty. Connor nodded, keeping the camera trained on the darkened hallway in front of them. It's probably just an animal. This place is old. Tons of places for stuff to get in. But Lisa wasn't convinced. The sound was too rhythmic, too deliberate. It wasn't random, it felt intentional. They continued filming, but the tension grew with every passing minute. The air felt colder, and the house seemed to shift around them, the atmosphere thickening. Shadows danced across the walls, though neither of them could find the source of the movement. It was as if the very architecture of the manor had come alive, watching them, judging them. Suddenly, Derek's voice crackled through the walkie-talkie, interrupting their uneasy exploration. Guys, you need to see this. The urgency in his voice sent a chill down Derek's spine, and Connor exchanged a worried glance with Lisa. What's going on? Connor asked trying to keep his tone steady. You just have to come up here. Now. Derek urged, his voice strained with an emotion that sent alarm bells ringing in Connor's head. Connor's heart raced as he glanced back at Lisa, who nodded in agreement, her expression serious. They made their way toward the staircase, the scratching noise growing louder behind them, almost as if the house was urging them to turn back. But they pressed on, driven by a mix of fear and curiosity. As they ascended the staircase, the feeling of dread deepened, wrapping around them like a suffocating fog. The shadows loomed larger, and the air grew colder still, making Connor's skin prickle. What had they stumbled into? As they reached the top of the stairs, they stepped into a dimly lit hallway. The walls seemed to pulse with energy, and Connor felt a weight settling over him, a sensation he couldn't shake. Whatever was happening in this house, it was real and they were about to uncover something they might not be ready for. Connor and Lisa rushed upstairs, adrenaline coursing through their veins as they met Derek in one of the dimly lit bedrooms. 
The pallor of his face struck Connor immediately, his usually confident friend looked shaken, fear etched across his features. Derek stood in front of the wall, his camera still running, and pointed to something that made Connor's stomach drop. There, scratched into the plaster with jagged precision, was a single word, leave. Holy. When did this get here? Connor asked, his bravado faltering as the weight of the situation settled in. The walls felt as if they were closing in on them. I don't know, Derek replied, his voice low and shaky. But it wasn't here when I first came up. I swear. Lisa's hands trembled as she aimed her camera at the scratch marks, the reality of what they were seeing beginning to dawn on her. We need to get out of here, she urged, her voice barely above a whisper, each syllable laced with panic. Connor hesitated, the excitement of capturing something truly terrifying warring with an unsettling feeling he couldn't ignore. This was exactly the kind of footage that could make their video go viral, garnering views and comments like they had never seen before. Yet, for the first time since starting Challenge Ace, he felt like he had lost control of the narrative. The thrill of the chase was overshadowed by a palpable fear. Still, the thought of backing down nodded him. They had come this far, and he knew his fans would eat this up. Let's just keep going, Connor said, forcing his tone to sound more confident than he felt. We'll get some more shots and be out of here by dawn. No big deal. But as they continued to explore the house, things only escalated. The scratching noises followed them from room to room, a sinister echo haunting their every move. In one bedroom, they found more words etched into the walls, danger. Stop. Trapped. Each word sent chills through Derek and Lisa, the air growing heavier with each new discovery. The playful thrill of their adventure was slipping away, replaced by something much darker. Then came the screams. At first, they were quiet, barely audible over the sound of their footsteps, as if the walls were reluctant to reveal their secret. But as they moved deeper into the house, the screams grew louder, more frantic. It sounded like a woman, pleading, desperate, terrified. Lisa dropped her camera, the device clattering to the floor as she stepped back, her face pale and ashen. I'm not doing this anymore, she said her voice a shaky whisper as she backed away toward the door. We need to leave now. Connor's heart pounded in his chest, adrenaline coursing through his veins. He didn't believe in ghosts, but the unexplainable events unfolding in this house were impossible to ignore. Still, he was torn between a primal instinct to flee and the lure of finishing the challenge that could catapult their channel into new heights of fame. Just a little longer, he said though he wasn't sure who he was trying to convince, Lisa, Derek, or himself. But Lisa wasn't having it. In an act of instinctive fear, she turned and sprinted for the front door, her hands trembling as she yanked it open. However, she was met with a blast of icy air that swept through the doorway and knocked her backward, the cold wrapping around them like a vice. Connor rushed over to help her up, concern flooding his chest. But when he looked outside, his stomach dropped. The front yard, the same yard they had walked through to get into the house, was gone. In its place stood a dense, impenetrable fog that seemed to swallow everything beyond the porch. The road, the trees, even the moonlit sky had disappeared, replaced by an all-consuming grayness that felt alive. It was as if the house had become its own isolated world, detached from reality. There's no way out, Lisa whispered, her eyes wide with horror the raw panic etched on her features. Connor slammed the door shut and turned to Derek, who stood frozen in shock. We'll go out through the back, he said, trying to rally them. But as they made their way toward the kitchen, the screams returned, louder than ever, reverberating through the halls like a symphony of terror. The walls seemed to close in around them, pressing down with an oppressive weight. Every instinct screamed at him to run, but his legs felt heavy, as if the house itself were conspiring to hold them in place. And then they saw her. In the doorway of the kitchen stood a woman, pale, gaunt, and utterly haunting. Her eyes were hollow and lifeless, dark circles framing a gaze that felt like it could see right through them. She wore a tattered dress that hung loosely on her emaciated frame, and her hair was matted and stringy, falling over her face like a curtain hiding a terrible secret. Her lips moved 
but no sound came out. Instead, the house seemed to speak for her, the walls vibrating with her chilling message. You should have left when I told you to. Connor froze, his mind racing, each heartbeat echoing in his ears. This wasn't part of the plan. This wasn't part of any plan. The woman stepped toward them, her feet gliding soundlessly across the floor, an ethereal presence that both terrified and captivated him. The room felt charged, every nerve in Connor's body screaming for him to turn and flee, yet he remained paralyzed, his eyes locked on hers. A sense of dread washed over him, an instinctual understanding that they had crossed a line they could never return from. Connor, Derek breathed, his voice barely a whisper, filled with the kind of fear that seeped into the bones. Lisa clutched at Connor's arm, her fingers digging into his skin as if she thought he might bolt. The world around them had become a twisted nightmare, and the whispers of Blackridge Manor were calling for their souls. And in that moment, Connor realized that they might not be leaving at all. Derek grabbed Connor by the arm, panic fueling his voice. Run. Without a moment's hesitation, they bolted through the decaying hallways of Blackridge Manor, their footsteps echoing against the rotting wood. The air felt thick and electric, a sinister energy crackling around them as they raced away from the woman's ghostly form. No matter where they turned, she was there, always a few steps behind, materializing in doorways, hovering at the top of the stairs, her hollow eyes burning into their backs with an insatiable hunger. Keep moving. Connor urged, glancing over his shoulder as fear twisted in his gut. The cold dread that had settled in the pit of his stomach now coiled tighter, a visceral warning that they were in a fight for their lives. They stumbled through the kitchen, their breaths ragged and shallow, adrenaline surging through their veins. Finally, they reached the back door, the flickering light of freedom just beyond their grasp. Help me get it open. Derek shouted, his hand fumbling with the doorknob. But just as he went to turn it, an unseen force slammed into him from behind, sending him crashing to the ground, the wind knocked out of him. Derek. Connor shouted, panic surging through him as he whirled around to see the woman standing over his best friend, her expression an unsettling blend of sadness and rage. Connor rushed to Derek's side, his heart racing, but before he could reach him, the woman raised her hand, a chilling smile creeping across her lips. Connor felt an invisible force push him backward, pinning him against the wall with a bone-crushing pressure. The air around him felt thick, as if the very fabric of reality was squeezing him tight. Lisa, he shouted, his voice a desperate plea. She stood frozen a few feet away, her face pale and filled with terror. Get out. Run. But there was nowhere to go. The weight of the atmosphere seemed to grow heavier, suffocating, wrapping around them like a shroud. The woman took a step closer, her form shifting, the shadows around her twisting and writhing as if they were alive. Her eyes locked onto Connor's, and for the first time, he understood. They had been warned. They had been told to leave. The scratches on the walls, the screams echoing through the hallways, every sign had been there, a chilling premonition of the horror that awaited them. Please, Connor begged desperation clawing at his throat. Let him go. The woman's gaze didn't waver, and Connor felt a deep, unsettling pull within him. It was as if she were probing his very soul, peeling back the layers of his bravado to reveal his deepest fears. You shouldn't have come here, she whispered, her voice like gravel, each word laced with sorrow and rage. Derek groaned on the ground, struggling to regain his senses, but the woman's gaze was fixed on Connor. You thought you could conquer the unknown, she continued, her tone almost mockingly. You played a game, but this is not a game. This is my home. Connor's heart raced as he struggled against the invisible force holding him in place, his mind racing for a way out. We didn't know, he shouted, his voice echoing off the walls. We didn't mean any harm. We just wanted to film. The woman's expression shifted a flicker of something resembling understanding passing across her gaunt features. Do you think I care for your excuses, she hissed, stepping closer until Connor could feel the cold radiating from her body. You wanted to exploit my pain for views. You wanted to profit from my tragedy. With a sudden surge of strength, Connor broke free from the invisible grip, 
adrenaline fueling his every move. Derek. Get up, he shouted, racing toward his friend. Just as he reached Derek, he felt the woman's presence surge behind him, cold fingers brushing against his neck. Connor turned, heart pounding as he faced her once more. You should have left when I told you to, she repeated, her voice now a haunting echo in his mind. The room began to swirl around him, shadows stretching and contorting, as if the very walls were trying to swallow them whole. Connor, get out of here. Derek gasped, finally pushing himself up from the floor, eyes wide with terror. He struggled to his feet, grabbing Connor's arm as the spectral woman advanced. No. Connor yelled, resisting Derek's grip, instinctively knowing they had to face her together. We can't leave you. The woman let out a low, mournful laugh that reverberated through the room, sending chills down Connor's spine. You think you can save him, she taunted, her voice twisting with malice. You are trapped in my realm now. Your fear feeds me. Connor felt a surge of despair, his hope flickering like a dying flame. They were caught in a nightmare of their own making, and every instinct screamed at him to run. But he couldn't abandon Derek, not now. They were in this together. Listen to me. Connor shouted, trying to rally his courage as he faced the woman once more. We can help you. You don't have to do this. The woman paused, her expression softening for the briefest moment, as if a flicker of humanity still resided within her spectral form. But it vanished just as quickly, replaced by an overwhelming wave of darkness that surged toward them. You had your chance, she whispered, her voice growing cold and hollow. Now, you will join me. Suddenly, the shadows around them lunged forward, wrapping around Connor and Derek like tendrils of smoke. Connor fought against the encroaching darkness, the fear threatening to consume him. But just as he thought all hope was lost, he caught a glimpse of Lisa, standing frozen in the doorway, her face a mask of horror. With one final push, Connor screamed, Lisa. We need you. Help us. And in that moment, as the shadows closed in, a bright light erupted behind her, cutting through the darkness like a beacon. The light enveloped them, pushing back against the encroaching tendrils, forcing them to retreat. Run. Lisa shouted, her voice filled with newfound determination as she stepped forward, the light radiating from her like a protective shield. With one last effort, Connor grabbed Derek's arm, and together they sprinted toward the light. The woman's cries of rage echoed behind them, but the light surged forward, wrapping around them as they fled the clutches of Blackridge Manor. They burst through the back door, the oppressive fog dissipating like a bad dream as they stumbled into the moonlit yard, gasping for breath. The mansion stood behind them, silent and foreboding, the air around them suddenly feeling lighter. But as they turned back for one last glance, Connor's heart sank. The woman stood in the doorway, her gaze locked onto them, the shadows swirling around her like a dark shroud. You cannot escape your fate, she whispered, her voice carried by the wind, as the door slammed shut, sealing the horrors within. For Connor and his friends, the nightmare was far from over. They had survived the night, but the haunting presence of Blackridge Manor would follow them long after they left its confines, a chilling reminder of the darkness they had dared to confront.